Well, the last couple of weeks has been really terrible for potholes. Uh, crews have been working to try to get them filled, but that work is backing up traffic on I-64 near Barbersville. News Channel 3's Alex Jackson spoke with the DOH to learn more about these repairs and why they are necessary during the morning rush. Those pesky potholes have been popping up around the region and leaving drivers like Tim Armstrong in a bind. So I work seven, seven days a week in a truck and trailer, and I've had some incidents where I've had flat tires. One of those problem spots, I-64 westbound from the Merritt's Creek exit to the 29th Street exit. Tuesday, crews attempting to remedy the pothole problems. The expense, closing down the slow lane from the early morning hours until the afternoon. This backed up traffic on the interstate with morning commuters transitioning to the one-lane section of road. So I asked the West Virginia Department of Highways why the work couldn't be completed overnight to lessen the toll on traffic. I was told, quote, the work cannot be completed overnight due to overnight temperatures and available resources. When I asked about what work was being done, DOH says crews use hot mix asphalt to patch potholes. Adding crews mill out the pothole and then proceed to put hot mix asphalt back in it and roll it for a smooth patch. Last week, crews used temporary cold asphalt, which is usually the only option during the winter months, however, is not a long-lasting repair. But DOH says a recent spell of unusually warm weather has allowed asphalt plants to temporarily reopen, leading to these more permanent repairs. Alex Jackson, WSAZ News Channel 3. I-64 is still backed up right now. DOH says the slow lane will be closed at 5 a.m. tomorrow. From the